Okay. What do you think is the reason behind the results we saw last night here in France? Well, that's a, that's a very broad question, really. Um, you know, there is a rejection of uh, the, the traditional uh, two parties. We've seen that in the previous elections since 2012 uh, with Le Pen and a party, you know, winning, uh, winning them. It's, it's not unexpected. I think from, from the British point of view, uh, obviously I'm based here, so I've been looking at it through, through British eyes. Uh, the second round is very much about the future of Europe. And it's been framed as uh, the battle between the progressist um, Macron and the nationalist uh, Le Pen. Well, let's talk a bit more about that. How much do you think uh, what happened in the UK with Brexit had an influence on voters here in France? That, that's a very good question, because uh, on the one hand, you could argue that uh, Britain showed that it's possible to say no to the EU. On the other hand, nearly a year after the, ele uh, after the referendum, uh, Britain is still very much in, in a, a Brexit kind of drama. And it hasn't happened yet. So the, and the difficulties of, of you know, a Brexit is, is becoming clearer and clearer every day. So voters might have thought, well, you know, it's more complicated than what some people might say. Now, one thing that's interesting here is that both mainstream political parties were shut out of this second round. Emmanuel Macron, who does look to be the favorite, only started his movement yeah. a year ago. Can he get a big enough majority in the June elections, yeah. the legislative elections, to govern? That's, that is the main question. Uh, as you said, his movement is very new. And we know that a French president does not have a lot of power unless they have a majority in the National Assembly. Now, there could be a, a Macron effect. And he, he himself said that the French will be, uh, you know, will do the right thing and give him, uh, give him the majority. But it's far from certain that it will happen. So then what are we going to have? Are we going to have a cohabitation type of situation? Or are we going to have majority on a, on a kind of law by law basis? So the, the, the main, the third round, which is the parliamentary election in June, are going to be the key, the key election. And the same can be said for Marine Le Pen as well, because she only had two MPs in 2012. You know, so this is the crucial one. Ariane, just, round. Ju just to wrap up, how is this first round? How was this first round covered there in the UK? Do people care? Um, it wasn't at the forefront of, uh, of the newspapers or the, the, of the media because uh, Brexit, you know, dominates everything and Theresa May last week announced a snap election. However, uh, it became uh, far more covered uh, in the last week and people really focus on what they see as the future of Europe because we know that Marine Le Pen wants to uh, leave the euro and possibly the EU versus uh, Macron, who was the only really openly uh, pro-EU candidate. So that's what the media kind of focused on, the right. future of Europe as defined by uh, the result in two, weeks, in two weeks' time. Ariane Bogan, thank you very much. Ariane speaking to us there from the University of Newcastle.